Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to take a closer look at the new Volkswagen Tiguan, so 2021 model, the facelift, but this time in live trim. So in Croatia we get the base, uh, which is called just the Tiguan. Then you have the Life, then Elegance, and then the R-Line. So I did a review of the R-Line, but this time we are looking at the live trim, so more base spec and uh, it's actually looking decent but you do see some uh, you know uh, missing elements such as this grill which has chrome parts here and here but here you do see the plastic we do have the new Volkswagen badge now the lights these are the base led lights and good news is that the led lights do come as standard so those are the base ones which are standard and you could go for the led plus and then at the top of the line you do get the matrix leds uh, but as i said this car has the base ones uh, compared to the r-line trim of course this is uh, less aggressive from the front uh, but overall it does look better than the predecessor and then moving on to the side length four meters 51 and there you have it so the lines haven't changed that much compared to the predecessor here from the side uh, these are the standard wheels so 17 inch wheels with these huge tires uh, balloonish tires uh, yeah i would definitely upgrade those to 18 inch uh, but this is of course very good for the comfort and then you see this chrome line here which could be black if you go for the black style package and uh, yeah well this is the side view and then at the back we do have the led lights so as standard at the back you do get this leds uh, but they do have a bit of a different signature compared to the uh, ones when you have the matrix leds uh, then you have the dynamic indicators as well and that does look better but this is also okay i think and uh, yeah this is the rear bumper the new one we don't have any exhaust so uh, there is no fake exhaust as you can see here it's just this line but on the airline trim uh, you do get the fake ones but here uh, yeah nothing at all but it's decent we do have the new tiguan lettering new badge this car doesn't have the tinted windows and then when you open the trunk which is of course manual here you're greeted with between 520 or 615 liters that is because the rear bench uh, can be adjusted so that depends you know on uh, the size of the trunk of course then and uh, well yeah these are your uh, you know hooks for the shopping bags and then the 12 volt power outlet is here as well and then underneath here uh, you do have some additional space I'm not sure if we do have the spare tire underneath this or not uh, but yeah plenty of space in here and then of course folding the seats get you uh, the flat bottom and a lot of room indeed uh, let's take a closer look at the rear seats now as i said i already did uh, in the preview so you can watch that one for more details uh, now we'll cover this quickly so additional you know space for maybe some tanks and uh, well yeah this is the situation at the rear bench you do have this carpeting inside the door pockets and let me show you the interior of this tank and we do have these side lights on put them off so here you are greeted with this brushed aluminium part and then uh, yeah well this is some cloth huge door pocket big plus and uh, yeah there is no uh, you know illumination or door seal or stuff like that which we saw on the r line these are the base seats and actually they are very comfortable i do love this steering wheel guys so this steering wheel is different uh, once again compared for example to the r line it's got the physical buttons so you see those here and actually let's close the door All right, so you see the buttons. I'm gonna change the view now. Physical buttons and thumb up from me because uh, this is easier to use. And I don't think that the touch sensitive buttons on higher trims are, you know, that good because they are really hard to use. Maybe you get used to them, but I don't know, for me, this is a better option. 
now uh, let me actually turn on the car for you and as you can see we do have the classic uh, you know cockpit in front of us okay i'll just uh, put on uh, the contact so you see the classic ones and some of you actually love those uh, personally i'm not a big fan of those actually i do believe they look kind of outdated and uh, i would definitely go for the digital cockpit which is of course an option here and then you would get different views and uh, yeah well, i mean you do have all the information here on this small screen surprisingly uh, you know there is a lot of things here but yeah not for me i would definitely upgrade that one uh, but anyway here we do have the updated uh, version so the base one gets you 6.5 inch one which is a smaller one but this is 8 inch one and to be honest with you i think this is uh, more let's say user friendly than the big 10 inch one which is the option option because on this one you do get this uh, knobs for uh, you know uh, changing various things and for the volume so i believe this is a better choice ac controls are adjusted on this slider not the best option but better than to have them incorporated into the infotainment system speaking about the infotainment system here is the main menu uh, a bit unusual for me that the menu button is here so you know the furthest button from you is the menu button and now let's change the view back to this standard one uh, you have some of the shortcuts here for the ac and then to change the temperature you just do this you can slide or you can press here is some little storage space as well as the two USB-C ports, 12 volt power outlet. This car does have the manual. So this is the 122 horsepower diesel, the base one. And here is where you turn off the start stop, electronic parking brake, auto hold function. Uh, these are adjustable cup holders, but there is no roller. And then this can be extended. And when you open it, you get additional storage space uh, this is the infotainment system it's a new one uh, i do love this one but uh, i already as i said uh, did a review where you have all the information about that one so you can watch that out i'm not gonna uh, you know go through the settings uh, you do have this uh, gesture control uh, but yeah you get the point as i already said different views and different information actually we i would not call that views but different information are available on this screen okay so that was it we are now going on a point of view drive with this thing uh, you can watch that video it's already probably on my channel uh, so yeah stay tuned subscribe and thank you very much for watching see you on the next one bye bye